Contributing editor Keith McCullough recently questioned fellow hedge fund manager David Einhorn's long position in gold, and in return, he got a rebuttal from the famed investor. Keith, CEO of Hedge Eye Risk Management, is with us now to talk about his macro view and how it differs from Einhorn's. Keith, let's remind everybody uh, of the three themes that you've laid out for Q1 from a macro investor's standpoint. Sure. Uh, first is the buck breakout, so we're bullish on the dollar. And these are three-month views. We're bullish on the dollar, we're bearish on gold, we're bearish on China, and uh, finally, we think interest rates are going to start to back up. Okay, so this is what you outlined in a note that you put out last week, correct? And all of a sudden, it generated a response from none other than David Einhorn, famed investor, famed hedge fund manager at Greenlight Capital, and let's focus on what it was exactly about your thesis that Einhorn kind of took issue with, because you made specific reference to David Einhorn in your note. Right. Now, I, I was basically uh, calling David out on his, you know, he's long gold and I'm short gold. Um, but what actually turns out is that David and I have the same view uh, on, on different durations. Now, that can really be painful in investing, you know. Um, <laughs> <It> certainly can. <laughs> but we call it duration mismatch. And that's, um, that's, that's a term that we use for basically having a good idea, but just having the timing wrong. And to some extent, I was just, you know, calling out, I called it red light risk, you know, getting cute. You know, of course, David manages Greenlight Capital. Uh, but I think back and forth, we actually came to the same conclusion. We're both bearish on the euro. We're both bullish on the dollar. Uh, I'm just, you know, infusing that, that thesis into a bearish position in gold, and he's staying long it. Okay, well, you're right, and it does come down to duration, which is effectively that you're taking a shorter-term view and he's taking a longer-term right. view. He says that he would rather not miss the next $500 move in gold, which he thinks is going to be up, as opposed to trying to call the next $80 move in gold, which is more or less, would you agree, effectively what you're trying to do? Yeah, and that's right. And I think that gold could go, my, my, my target for gold is to get under 1000 again, and I would absolutely buy it back. And actually, Einhorn said, I bet you'd buy it back. And he's right, I would, but I'm not going to miss, you know, $100 move in, in the price of gold. Do you similarly have a long-term view that you would share with Einhorn, which is that at a certain point, and it may not be in the very distant future, we're going to see gold go up by another 500 bucks? It, well, that would have to definitely go back to a day, a dark, dark day for, for the dollar, and that day could easily come. All you have to do is watch any procession at the Senate or in Congress to figure that out. The balance sheet in this country is obviously a colossal disaster, so I do think that that day can and will come if Obama and the administration doesn't fix it. Let's talk a bit more about that because you've spoken very favorably in your notes about Paul Volcker. Uh, Volcker has proposed some restrictions on proprietary trading, some restrictions on hedge fund investing, banks own capital that is, same goes for private equity, but our Volcker's, I mean, Volcker has a reputation for fighting inflation. That's how he earned his stripes as the mm -hmm. Fed chairman. This really has nothing to do with that. Do you think that the Volcker rule as proposed by the president is going to do anything to address the structural issues in the U.S. economy that you've identified and which you have concerns about? Yeah, now Volcker, you know, he's got, he's got a reputation for fighting inflation but also fighting the political wind. And I do have a view that we're in a political bubble in this country and I think people are tired of it. And I think that Volcker's standing up and putting a, putting a rule on the table that the politics won't absorb. They're basically, well, that, that wouldn't have saved Lehman Brothers. But the point is that he's dead on that the banks are conflicted and compromised in how they have all these full service units under one umbrella. And I think that him with any ultimate fix like that would actually be bullish for the, for the banking system overall. Keith, people might get a bit confused when they hear the criticisms that you level at the government of the political system and your bullish stance currently on the U.S. dollar. Do you find yourself in the same camp, I guess, as Einhorn and also as George Soros, who told us in Davos last week that there is no acceptable alternative to the U.S. dollar right now, just too many problems with the euro, just too many problems with the fiscal picture in the EU, and just not enough liquidity in some of those emerging market currencies, many of which he considers yep. overvalued. Yeah, now, that's a great point, Eric. The, the point of, of of being bullish on the dollar, you always have to understand that it's a basket of other currencies. And the issues with sovereign CDS or sovereign debt in Europe, this is also a view that Einhorn and I both share. Uh, we're worried about Greece, we're worried about Portugal, all these different issues you're seeing this morning actually in Spain. At the end of the day, if you're bearish on, on the euro, you're bullish on the dollar. All right, Keith, great perspective. As usual, Keith McCullough, contributing editor to Bloomberg Television and CEO of Hedgeye Risk Management.